today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to find the derivatives of the given equation. On example number 1, we have y equals quantity 4x plus 3. So let us have 2 and then let us subtract 1 on the exponent. This will give us 4x plus 3 raised to 1 and then let us have the derivative of 4x plus 3. So this will give us 2 times 4x plus 3. And the derivative of 4x plus 3, that is 4. So to simplify this one, we have 2 multiplied by 4, that is 8, times 4x plus 3. And then 8 times 4x will give us 32x. And 8 times 3, that is 24. So this will be the derivative of the given equation on number 1. On example number 2, we have y equals quantity 6x minus 4 raised to 3. So let us have 3 and then let us have 6x minus 4 raised to 3 minus 1 and then let us have the derivative of 6x minus 4. So let us rewrite 3. And then 6x minus 4, 3 minus 1, that is 2. And then the derivative of 6x minus 4, that is 6. So we can write our answer as 3 times 6, that is 18, times quantity 6x minus 4 squared. So this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have y equals quantity 5x squared plus 4x plus 2 raised to 5. So to find the derivatives of the given equation, let us have 5 and then let us write 5x squared plus 4x plus 2 raised to 5 minus 1 times the derivative of 5x squared plus 4x plus 2. So to simplify, let us write 5 and then let us have 5x squared plus 4x plus 2 raised to 5 minus 1, that is 4. And then let us have the derivative of 5x squared, that is 10x. The derivative of 4x, that is 4. And the derivative of 2, that is 0. So to simplify, let us have 5 times 10x. That is 50x and then 5 multiplied by 4 that is 20 and then let us write 5x squared plus 4x plus 2 raised to 4. So this will be our answer. On example number 4, we have y equals quantity. 3x squared minus 4 raised to 1 half. So to find the derivative of this one, let us have 1 half. And then let us write 3x squared minus 4 raised to 1 half minus 1 times the derivative of 3x squared minus 4. And to simplify, this is 1 half quantity 3x squared minus 4, 1 half minus 1, that is negative, 1 half, and then the derivative of 3x squared, that is 6x, and the derivative of negative 4, that is 0. So to have, or to simplify, let us have 1 times 6x, that is 6x over 2 times quantity 3 x squared minus 4 raised to negative 1 half. So we can divide 6 by 2 to give us 3x times quantity 3x squared minus 4 raised to negative 1 half. And to eliminate the negative sign of the exponent, let us have 3x. So let us write this one into the denominator to eliminate the negative sign of the exponent, it will give us 
quantity 3x squared minus 4 raised to positive 1 half. So we can write our answer in this form or you can write as 3x over square root of 3x squared minus 4. So this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have y equals square root of 5x minus 2. Since our given is written in radical form, let us rewrite this one into exponential form. So this will give us y equals quantity 5x minus 2 raised to 1 half. So to find the derivative, let us have 1 half times 5x minus 2 raised to 1 half minus 1 times the derivative of 5x minus 2. And to simplify, let us have 1 half times 5x minus 2. 1 half minus 1, that is negative 1 half. And the derivative of 5x minus 2, that is 5. So let us multiply 1 by 5, that is 5 over 2 times quantity 5x minus 2 raised to negative 1 half. So to simplify this one, let us eliminate the negative sign by writing this one on the denominator. This will give us 5 over 2 quantity 5x minus 2 raised to positive 1 half. So this will give us 5 over 2. And if you want to write your answer into radical form, this will give us square root of 5x minus 2. And this will be our answer. But you can write your answer in this form. On example number 6, we have y equals cube root of 3x plus 5. So the first thing that we are going to do is to change the radical form into exponential form. So this will give us y equals quantity 3x plus 5 raised to 1 third. So the index is 3, so the denominator of the exponent is 3. And to find the derivative, let us have 1 third. And then let us have 3x plus 5 raised to 1 third minus 1 times the derivative of 3x plus 5. So to simplify, this will give us 1 third. Let us write 3x plus 5. 1 third minus 1, that is negative 2 third. Times the derivative of 3x plus 5, that is 3. So we can cancel 3. This will give us 1 times 3x plus 5 raised to negative 2 third. And to eliminate the negative sign, on the exponent, let us write this one on the denominator, that is 1 over quantity 3x plus 5 raised to positive 2 third. So you can write your answer in this form, or if you want to write it in the radical form, this will give us 1 over cube root of 3x plus 5 raised to 2. So this will be our answer. On our last example, we have y equals 5 over square root of 2x plus 3. So to simplify this one, let us have 5. And then let us write this one into exponential form that is quantity 2x plus 3 raised to 1 half. And let us write 2x plus 3 raised to 1 half in the numerator. This will give us 5 times 2x plus 3 raised to negative 1 half. And to find the derivative, let us multiply 5 by negative 1 half. And then let us write 2x plus 3 raised to negative 1 half minus 1 times the derivative of 2x plus 3. 5 multiplied by negative 1, that is negative 5 over 2, times 2x plus 3. 
and then let us have negative 1 half minus 1 that is negative 3 over 2 times the derivative of 2x plus 3 that is 2 so we can cancel 2 this will give us negative 5 quantity 2x plus 3 raised to negative 3 over 2 and to eliminate the negative sign on the numerator let us have negative 5 2x plus 3 raised to 3 over 2 and let us rewrite this one into radical form this is negative 5 over square root of 2x plus 3 raised to 3. So you can write your answer in this form or if you want to simplify, since the index is 2 and the exponent of 2x plus 3 is 3, we can write this one as negative 5 over square root of 2x plus 3 squared times 2x plus 3. Since 2x plus 3 squared is a perfect square, so we can cancel this one. We can have negative 5 over 2x plus 3 times the square root of 2x plus 3. So this will be our answer. But again, you can write your answer in this form. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.